welcome to Cohesity Techie, Episode 2. Today I'm going to tell you how to upgrade any Cohesity cluster on 6.0 or later. Let's get started. So we're going to log in to the Cohesity cluster. For the main Cohesity dashboard, we can click on Platform and click the Cohesity OS that the cluster is running. You can also click under Admin, Upgrade Cluster, which we'll click on later, and it'll show us our current version. Now that we know we're running 6.0, we're going to log into downloads.cohesity.com to see what versions are available to upgrade this cluster to. You click on the button to log into Support Portal and log in with your provided credentials. Once logged into downloads.cohesity.com, you'll notice two tabs at the top. LTS, which is our long-term support, and future releases. The LTS version is recommended for production support. The feature releases is recommended if you want to be on the bleeding edge. For today's demo, we're just going to go from the current cluster version of 6.0 to 6.0. You click on, we're back in the Cohesity cluster under Upgrade, Admin, Upgrade Cluster. If you click on Get New Package, You'll have to provide the download URL or upload a package. So I'm going to provide a URL to get the package. Click Get Package and Upgrade. Notice we have four nodes in this cluster. Right, it's going to show us the current version and the target version of 6.08. I'm going to click on Upgrade. And now the upgrade has been started. Once the upgrade starts, we can click on Show Tasks and it'll show us what's going on on each node in the cluster. As we see on node.13, it is starting to download the software package. To get a status from the command line, you can go into our Iris console. Iris underscore CLI. Typing cluster status. Two things I wanted to point out. The server sync state shows in progress and the activation operation shows K cluster upgrade. We'll look at node.13 and I'm looking at the tasks. The package is successfully downloaded and it's running its pre-checks. Next it'll go through and stop the services on this node and eventually reboot the node. Now this, this operation is non-disruptive. As backup jobs would be moved to another node, all the services have stopped on this are stopping on this node. And this node will, re will reboot as we reboot one node at a time, but the cluster will stay up. So our first node is done. It's showing starting cluster services updated to cluster config to let the cluster know that this node is on 60A. It actually started the cluster services and finished upgrading this first node. Our overall progress is at 55%. As you can see here, it's showing upgraded to 60A. And it has already started to reboot node ending in dot 12. Another quick way is at the very bottom, it also shows what node is upgraded and what ones are yet to be upgraded. Another useful command from Iris, the cluster. Get upgrade status will give you an overall picture from the command line. The second node is almost done. I wanted to show that we use a ticket system to pass a ticket to each node before actually allowing the node to upgrade to make sure it's okay within the cluster config to upgrade the node. This prevents more than one node trying to upgrade at the same time. The cluster upgrade has now completed. The cluster is currently running version 6.0a. We can also confirm if we go under cluster so it's the same version. Now if we hop onto the command line, we can type cluster get upgrade status. And it'll show that the upgrade status is false. Now if we do cluster status, we can see the sync state is showing done. The software version is showing 6.0. 0A. 
We can also run a quick allssh.shls command and you can see each node is running 60A. And this is how you would upgrade any Cohesity cluster. Again, my name is Jason Jeter. I'm an SRE at Cohesity. And thank you for watching.